Okay, so currently I'm in the middle of filming another Call of Duty Clems electronic workshop video. However, I've come to a point where I need to solder something, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to show just how bad this solder is. Now, while my soldering arm's warming up, this is some solder that I got from Amazon, so that's not a good start. Now, it comes to be 6337, but I don't think that's the case, because I've used 6337 solder before, and it's always worked as good as 6040. Not this stuff, though. This is more like lead-free solder, although it's even worse. I didn't think there could be anything worse, but apparently there is. So, I'm going to say that this is a brand that you probably should avoid. Right, soldering iron should be ready by now, so, you know, I'm just going to try and solder these wires together. Now, I've already twisted them together, so, let's just see if we can put some solder on this wire here. I'll just tin the tip. Now, it flows onto the tip nice and good. I'm trying to get this to actually solder onto the wire. See how awkward this is being? It's just not flowing onto the wire. Right, so now you can see a close-up of the intense soldering action. Just going to clean the soldering iron tip. It's always a good idea. I'm going to tin it. See, solder flows nice onto the tip, but it does not flow onto what you're soldering. See, it is just absolutely refusing to coat the wire. I have never had this much difficulty soldering two wires together in my life. And just look how much solder is bunched up on the tip there, instead of flowing onto the wire like it was supposed to. I can do that, but that's a very bad way of soldering. So to sum it up, don't buy cheap solder from places like Amazon. You're going to be severely disappointed. This has been a Call Dude Clan public service announcement. So to sum things up, don't buy cheap solder from eBay, 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 Amazon. That's the one.